Yo, what's poppin' guys, and today we are going to be talking about some of the most annoying things uh, that comes with being a Scratch YouTuber like I am. So, these are just things that I see that just personally annoy me just a little bit. Doesn't necessarily make me like angry or upset, but just something that's like, oh, well, that that's kind of annoying, but alright. So, without wasting any more of your time, I'd just like to say quickly subscribe because I'm like really cool and all that stuff. But, let's get right into it. So, the first annoying thing about being a Scratch YouTuber is really coming up with content ideas. Obviously, tutorials are always a really easy and simple way of content. However, you can run out of tutorial ideas really, really fast, which is a problem for obviously many reasons because you don't want to do a bunch of tutorials and then in like three months you've done a lot of tutorials and you're scraping the bottom of the barrel already at three months so you want to spread it out a little bit but maybe you want to post more like i do i like posting a lot i like making content all the time and then you have to think of new stuff so you think hey i'll make a studio and i'll review people's games oh that's cool but now what that takes up an extra day maybe but what if you want to make more content Right, so you think, I'll look at the explore page, such as I do. And yeah, boom, there you go. You have another pretty fun little thing that people can watch and just relax, listen to, stuff like that. But then you're like, well, now I have to, but I, I, I'd still like to make some more stuff. So you think, hey, I've been doing Scratch for a while. Over a few, quite a few years, right? How about I look at some of my old, old projects? And you do that for a little while and you're like, hey, that's pretty cool. People like this. And you keep doing that for for a while, and then you're like, well, I want I want to make more content, because I don't I don't want my content getting repetitive, only doing the same five things. So you think, what can I do? And that that's that's the annoying part. Scratch, even though it's, it's so big and there's so many things you can do with Scratch, coming up with content is at least for me, is very difficult for some reason. Obviously, you can do all the classics like obviously tutorials game reviews um what's another one uh, get game i was supposed to say game devs that's not what that's called uh i'm having a stroke devlogs that's the word uh, you got devlogs and stuff like that but videos like devlogs and stuff they take a long time to produce which is fine right i like sitting back and spending multiple days weeks or even months on a really cool video such as i'm doing right now i've been working on a video for like eight months now it's gonna come out eventually <laughs> but I got like working on those videos but I don't want to have such big gaps in my content for those big videos so I like to fill it up with little videos just coming up with those little video ideas can be really really difficult the next annoying thing about being a scratch youtuber is since we're using scratch all the time because for some of us that's our job obviously this isn't my job right now this is just something I like to do that just so happens to have monetary value to it as well, which is very lucky of me. Uh, so thank you for that, by the way. But, uh, but for, for people who maybe do this as a living or stuff, something along anything like this, right? Is the Since we're using it so often, we realize all the things that are annoying about it. And I have a whole video about annoying things about Scratch. This is annoying things about being a Scratch YouTuber, but I have a whole video about it. One of the most big points I make is how pretty much every game if you look at the explore page is exactly the same or any game on scratch at all majority of games are very very similar in style which gets really annoying when you consistently make content on these style of games for example right now as you're watching this video pause this video right now or open another tab while you're watching it go to scratch and look at the explore page uh go down on the first page until you see load more just count how many platformers you see on the main page. I bet it's a lot. I bet it's the majority. I mean, honestly, right now when I'm looking at it, it's not too bad, but you'll see a lot of platformers. And that's one of the points I make, and I, I don't like it. It's very annoying. So that's another really annoying thing, trying to make consistent content that is different every video. But it's really hard when all of the content on Scratch to make content about is all the same makes it really difficult to make anything that stands out and anything that is unique this one isn't necessarily being a scratch youtuber like exclusively but i'm going to put it here for two reasons one i didn't put it in the 
uh, my annoying video, but two, it, it can, it can kind of hold the YouTuber since we make projects pretty consistently. <clears throat> and that's when you post, uh, a project you didn't spend much time on. Maybe you posted, I don't know. Maybe you, you posted a platformer ironically. Maybe you made yourself a platformer. That's just the same as all the rest just to see what would happen. Maybe you're poking some fun at platformers or something like that. And you, you think it was funny. And then when you post it, you realize, oh my goodness, it just gained like 500 views. That's crazy. Like th th that never happens to me. How, how, how did that happen? That's crazy. And then you're like, well, hey, I've been working on this game for a few months now, right? This big game has a bunch of content in it, hours worth of gameplay to go through. It's gonna be super fun. People are gonna love it. It has a saving system, all this stuff, so that they don't have to worry about having to redo all the stuff they did. There's a whole bunch of content, achievements, stuff like that. They're gonna love it. I mean, clearly they like me because my platform I posted got 500 views. That's amazing. So you post your, vi you post your amazing, fantastic, unique game that you spent months on and it gets, in the same amount of time that the platform got 500 views, this new game you posted, which you spent months of your life on, gets maybe 12 in the same amount of time that it took for the platform to get 500. And you're like, well, this sucks. I spent so long on this, and it, and it did not pay off at all, which could be the same for videos. For example, you could post one of your videos where you do something simple, maybe just looking at a project or two, and it'll get maybe a hundred or so views. And then maybe you spend a long, long time on a really, really cool video, and it'll get 50 or 10 or none or something crazy like that. Which, it, it's, it, it's unfortunate. It's really annoying. And finally, the last thing I'm going to talk about, which just, I don't want to say frustrates, because it doesn't frustrate me. It just makes me, makes me think for a second, like, how? I, I, I don't understand the mindset, really. So I'll make a tutorial, right? <clears throat> and I'll put it out there. And you can watch me create the tutorial from start to finish, right? You can see my examples. A lot of the times when I'm done with the tutorial, I'll post the project in the description and you can go look at it to reference your code, right? And I'll always go to any of my tutorial videos and look in the comments right now. I bet you'll see it. I, I never understood this. It's so weird to me. I always get at least one comment on like every tutorial I make that says, I tried it and it doesn't work. It, it, it's so it's so weird to my brain. It's like, what do you mean it doesn't work? Watch the video, or go look at the project. Like, watch me make it and see that it works when I put in the code and I perform, and and I make it run off of the code I created, and watch how it works in my video. If you copy the code, it will work. I, I never got this unless it was like in Scratch 2.0 and you're doing a Scratch 3.0, then I can see how it doesn't work. But these are like videos I make it in Scratch 3.0 and people are saying that it doesn't work, and I'm like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. What, what do you mean it doesn't work? It clearly works. I made a video showing you that it works. I just never understood it. It was just that really weird thing for me. Like I just got one a little bit ago, uh, somewhere that said, I think it was on one of my FNAF tutorials. They just said I'm trying to make it. If, it was something along the lines of, I've been looking everywhere for a, for a Five Nights at Freddy's tutorial, and I found yet another one that doesn't work. <laughs> like, what? Do you watch the videos for 12 seconds? I don't, I don't get it. Or like, did you mess up a little tiny bit of code and couldn't find the little bit of code you messed up? And since it doesn't work for you, it the, the whole tutorial doesn't work. And it's really annoying because if people look at in, the, in the comments before starting a tutorial and they see that someone says it doesn't work, chances of them watching that series drop dramatically, which is obviously hurtful to the creator because now they're not getting as many views pulled in and get, not getting as much exposure. Exposure. So that's always a little bit annoying. But that's why I'm going to leave the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If any of you have anything to say about this stuff, let me know. I'd be interested in hearing. Uh, subscribe to DK Galaxy, my gaming channel, link in the description. Subscribe to Deku's Dubs, my comic dub channel, link in the description. And subscribe to Spellbound TCG, my card game channel, link in the description. And join Discord, link in the description. Wow, my outro is getting long. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>